Orchid Notes allows you to store notes as long as you want in the Sage 300 database. The notes can contain rich text formatting and because the notes can be as long as you want, you know thousands and thousands of characters long with the rich text formatting, we have a complex record structure consisting of a single EB note header record and then linked EB doc records each with 10 fields of 250 characters each which gets joined together to show you the note and we have a similar record to store the rich text formatting along with the notes. Because of this the standard SAGE imports will not work on such a complicated record structure. So notes supports two different import formats especially formatted CSV th that you run through Microsoft Excel and it is designed for notes which are less than 250 characters long and which do not contain any rich text formatting. We also have a dot notes format which allows you to, to import notes as long as you want and all the rich text formatting characters that you need. When you're importing via notes if your note type has been set up to allow multiple notes for the same key then it will insert a new note each time you import for the same key. If you do not allow multiple records per key then it will overwrite. You can refer to the online help for the notes of importing into notes and I will be going through those steps in this video. We also have a knowledge base article which shows you how you can store links to pictures using UNC paths and then include those pictures into your crystal reports. So if, if you find that useful please refer to that knowledge base article as well. Referring to our object model for all our modules, if you look at the information manager object model you'll find the first the EB note record type. So the EB note record type consists of the note type it is, the key value and the note ID and then it has a text ID and a rich text formatting ID. So this is the primary or header file of the note which tells you which which note type it is and what is the key value of that note and then what text ID it has and what rich text formatting ID it has. And then associated with that EB note record you will have multiple EB doc records and each EB doc record has a text ID so it will either be the rich text ID for the for the list of rich text ID fields for the for the document or it will be the raw text for the document and a segment ID. So the first record will be text ID 1234 segment 1 and then the 15 fields of 250 characters each for segment 1 then if it's more than that length you'll have segment 2 with the 15 fields of 250 characters each and you'll have that for all the text of the file as well as for all the rich text formatting. So you'll have two series of linked EB doc records associated with your single EB note record if you do have rich text formatting. Let's have a look at some notes that we have against inventory items. So if I look at the IC item and pick up the A11030, you can see we have configured for items multiple notes and the notes can be long as long as you want. So we'll track down this particular note for our note type item notes for the A11030 and see how this is stored in the database. So in SQL for our ORC limited database if we look at all the records in EB note 
we can see we've got all these different note types. We have the key values, the note ID, and then we have the text ID. So the the EB doc record text ID, and if there's rich text formatting, the rich text formatting ID. So let's just look at all in our EB note, which are only for that item. And we see we have four different notes. And the first one, note ID 40, was the first one we looked at. Notes can be as long as you want and contain free text. So the first 250 characters are listed on the first EB note record, just so that we can use that in finders and so on but the text is stored in the text ID note and the rich text formatting characters and text is stored in the rich text formatting notes. So let's just look at all what's in EB doc record. So you can see EB doc record has the text ID which links back either to the text ID or the RTF ID and a segment number. So they would go, if it's got the same text ID, such as 18, then this is the first th two and a half thousand characters, the second two and a half thousand characters, the third two and a half thousand characters, etc. And here's the text record. So this looks like a rich text formatting one, not just a text one. But let's filter this on our, on our individual item and the individual notes. So that was note 40. And you can see in the text ID, 15, we have notes um, including spaces and tabs that they may have had, but text only. So we've only got uh, just less than uh, 250 times two characters, but including the rich text formatting, the colors, etc., and the fonts that then spans out into multiple records. And in fact, it's about a thousand characters to store that. Looking at the online help for importing notes, you can import from a CSV where you specify the note type, the key, the category, and the text column and the RTF column. Or you could import using the special notes import template that we have. So there's a macro in Excel which does that notes import. And you can also import from a dot notes structure. So let's first look at the two CSV options. You can import your notes from the I am Transactions notes screen. And first we'll select a CSV file. And you can prepare a CSV file which has at least the note type and the key category if you want and the text. And if you do want to import the RTF, you can have a column here too. So you can import a note that way. Or you can open our notes import template in Excel. And that gives you instructions on the first page and you can paste your template of your note type key and text here. But you are limited to 250 characters per text because this is an Excel spreadsheet. And the final way you can import a note is using a dot notes file. So we'd recommend first you enter one note and then export a dot notes file. So you can export an example notes file so you can see what the structure is. And then if you go and have a look at the, that file, you can see it is a more complicated structure where you specify the um, note type Let's look at an item one. We specify the note type, the key, 
the note ID, date created and time blank you do not need to include if you're creating notes, the category, then you have a begin text and you have all your notes and end text, then begin RTF and you have the included RTF code and end RTF and then you move on to your next note. So if you do need to import longer notes and structured with RTF, you can build them this way and import then from that note file.